Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded video where today we are going to be going over a few things that you guys have talked to me about in the past and that is what my favorite console commands to use in the game are. Um, why I use console commands guys is because when I'm trying to show you guys off things that are inside of the updates, if I'm just trying to get something done really quick prepping for a video, um, or I'm just generally exploring around for the first time, I know it's a little bit of a hack to go ahead and use some of these uh, console commands, but to me it's worth it because I'm able to quickly get my point across to you guys without having to worry about the survival aspect of the game and not having to be in creative because inside of creative you don't have a lot of the bugs in the game you don't have a, you, in fact there are no bugs in the game unless you spawn them in but it also makes for good things like if you're trying to grind out some say bombardier beetles but you can't run around and find them you could just spawn in one or two of them and fight them that way so all around the console commands really do help now before i start talking about what console commands i really enjoy i need to show you guys how to actually activate the console commands and also i need to give you guys a little bit of a heads up that this is only for the pc uh this does not work on your xbox i don't know of a way to get console commands on the xbox yet um not until you can actually install something straight on your xbox so um you have to install um like it, 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 this, you have to install a, a different program on your Xbox, and it's not really possible. So before we hop in, let's get that program up here. Okay, so guys, this is Universal Unreal Engine 4 Unlocker. Um, literally what this is, is it goes into games that are developed within Unreal Engine and unlocks um, the console command window for you. You're going to need this in order to do this process, so I would suggest that you guys go and install this. If you guys just look it up, uh, it's a really easy install. And what I will say is when the game updates, there are going to be times where you're going to have to reinstall install this so all you do is uninstall it go back to the site and reinstall it because there is a new version released so far i have not found a way just to generally update this so what i've seen is we have had to just go ahead and uninstall and reinstall it now once you have this installed all you do under this process and dll selection right here you click select you click on your grounded, which is main Win64 uh, shipping. That's that's this guy, grounded early access. Select that and inject the DLL. And what you'll see over here on the left-hand side is you're gonna have four boxes. You need all four boxes to populate in order for it to be working, okay? Now, now that you actually have the console command selected, you can minimize that. Don't close it, minimize it, okay? That's important. Do not close it, minimize it, all right? All right, so here we are back in the game again. Apparently, I just decided I want to throw my uh, hat on the ground. Put that, pick that back up. Um, but the first one I want to show you guys, you guys will see that I am currently almost dead and my food is pretty much gone, right? So let's talk about one of my very favorite ones for whenever I'm doing a prepping for a video, and that is full restore. Full restore, what it does is it heals you completely, it gives you full water and full food immediately. And if you're underwater, full oxygen. So what you do is you press your tilde key, that's a little wiggle key, the upper left-hand side of your keyboard right underneath your um, escape button, okay? And then you just type in full restore, okay? Now I have it right here, full restore. Also, if you just press up for other commands that you've already gotten, you guys will see I have a couple of them here. Um, it will, you will see that, boom, now I have full food, full water, full health, and full stamina. And if I didn't have oxygen, I would now have full oxygen as well. So, full restore is super, super helpful, and I enjoy it immensely. Another one I want to talk to you guys about is teleport. Now, teleport's a little tricky because you shouldn't do teleport in third person because it can cause some game-breaking glitches. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into first person, and I'm going to go to teleport. And I'm actually going to show you guys what I mean by teleporting. So, I'm going to try to teleport to the top of my base right here. What you do, you once again press the tilde key, and you type in teleport. Okay? And you just go. Boop! And now all of a sudden, here I am standing on top of my house, and I was all the way over there a minute ago. So, teleport is really cool. You can actually go really far with it. Here, we're going to go over here again. You guys will see, now I'm all the way over here. See? What I mean by there is just some impressive ways you can move around the backyard. Um, 
and even all the way over to the pagoda now the pagoda is a little buggy because it's just put in uh so sometimes it doesn't work properly so you got to do it a couple times to get it to work but eh, screw the pagoda we'll go over there a little bit later on but teleport becomes very handy especially when you're just trying to move around the backyard quickly and you're just trying to get somewhere um back to your building base or something or because you had to go gather some materials or or what have you um, speaking of gathering materials, now I'm not going to go through and explain all of them, but I'm going to open up my discord here for a second and I'm going to talk to you guys about the summon command. Okay guys, so here we are right inside of my discord, okay, and inside of my discord I actually have all the console commands I've been able to find so far, okay, so you'll see right here, it's right here under grounded uh, console commands, it's underneath in the uh, YouTube stream and stream status and stuff like that, uh, just come on down here and click on that and you have my entire list of console commands that I currently know about but all these ones that you see BP in front of them okay if you had to take these and try to just copy and paste them straight into your um, command bar it wouldn't do anything so what you need to do is you need to put summon in front of it okay summon is super super important so I will show you guys right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna summon in um let's just summon in a mite that's what we're gonna do screw it we'll just summon in a mite all right i'm gonna go back into the game here wait for it to load and we're gonna go right here and what i'm gonna do, open up the command menu i'm gonna put summon and then i'm gonna paste in bp underscore mite underscore c and when i put that in now there is a mite right there so it and there are never mites on this branch on this tree so that didn't just happen to be there in fact, I'll show you once again. No might, no might. Now there's a might. So, like I said, it can become very handy if you want to just bring other things into the game. That's how I've been getting a lot of the things. But what I will tell you is I'm going to try to keep all of my console commands up to date. That way, whenever there's new stuff added, I get it added in for you guys. So you guys can test out some of the new stuff. Um, but I will obviously be doing testing on it before I just load it in there to make sure it's not just some broken crap that I'm giving you. All right. So summon is awesome. Now. Another thing a lot of you guys have asked me about is you guys can see right now I can see pretty much anywhere in the backyard where I am. I have no fog. I have no haze that keeps me from being able to see really far away. That was one of the first things in the game I looked for to get rid of and a console command is how I did it. Okay. It's super, super easy to do. Okay. I'll show you guys. It's inside of my discord. It's one of the top ones. Okay, so I have it bolded right here, and literally what it is is SG post process quality zero. Okay, so you get that and it removes the depth of field blurriness from the map. I love this perk. All right, I love this command because this makes it so no matter where I am on the map, I can see anything. Okay, I can see all the way across over to the haze. I can see over to the haze. I can be standing on the bird bath and see the bird land on the picnic table. It's fantastic. It doesn't make sense um, because you think how far away things are actually in the game that maybe some stuff should get blurry. Um, but at the end of the day, I thought that having this is the best thing for me to have. Now, there are a couple um, mentionables after those because like I said, those are my favorites, right? Uh, SG post post is quality zero. Uh, uh, the summon command restore all and teleport those are pretty much my four big ones that i love i use them all the time um but there's some honorable mentions in here guys i want to talk to you guys about god mode god mode makes this you don't take any more damage um but you, you you don't you don't take any more damage so i mean you could go and walk up to the koi fish and take some cool pictures with the koi fish speaking of taking cool koi, pictures with the koi fish you guys are gonna need the bug cam in order to do that so toggling the bug cam i'll show you guys that one right now toggling the bug cam is super super easy all right so here we are back in the game and we're gonna toggle the bug cam here i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put that on down right there toggle bug cam now when you first sit here you're like Oh, that didn't sim that didn't do anything well that's where you're wrong if you do use the keys to move around you'll now see that you are now completely out of your character and what i will add for all of you guys who wanted to explore some other bases and see what's inside of them this is also how you clip through the ground okay you literally clip through the ground this way and this is how i get into the bases that are over here as well so here's the bases right here and this is how i get in them right now, if you want to go slower, you just scroll with the scroll wheel, but this is a cool command. It's not my favorite because I try not to do this that often, 
but it still is pretty cool and it lets you be able to see the progress that they're making in here it looks like that they're getting done with this guy uh finishing up some finals it looks like in here the touching up looks like it needs to be finished a little bit but then it'll be good and then if you guys want to get back in your body you once again just toggle your bug cam and you're back in your character again and you're able to run around there are a couple other things like build all buildings or um give yourself raw science and stuff like that all those are really cool but like i said these are my favorites these are the things that i like to do and this is what my go-to console commands are whenever i'm just kind of farting around trying to prep for videos or just get you guys something cool in the game but thank you guys all so much for watching this video if you guys liked it please make sure you guys hit the like button for me to let me know you guys want to see more grounded videos and if you want to see them i will definitely make them make sure you guys leave me a comment down below of what your favorite console command is and i'll make sure that i heart it Make sure you guys subscribe today, turn your bell notification to all, and as always, I will see all of you guys in the next one.